and welcome to the Kenosha School of Technology Enhanced Curriculum, or KTEC. I'm Dr. Angela Anderson, and I'm the principal of KTEC. We are proud to be a leader in innovative education, providing a rigorous STEM curriculum to our students through business and education partnerships, and producing students that are well-rounded 21st century citizens. KTEC is an instrumentality charter school of the Kenosha Unified School District. That means we're a public school and there are no additional fees charged to attend our school. We are one school with two campuses. We serve students from four-year-old kindergarten through eighth grade. Four-year-old kindergarten is only at our west campus. Kindergarten through eighth grade are housed at both our east and west campuses. So I know that selecting a school for your student is a very important decision that you make as a parent, whether you're looking for a four-year-old kindergarten program or any of our other grades through eighth grade. And one of the things to look at when you're selecting a school is school achievement data. So every public school in the state of Wisconsin has a school report card. You can find those on the Department of Public Instruction's website. KTEC is very proud that every year there's been a school report card, we've either exceeded expectations or significantly exceeded expectations on that report card. When it comes to your individual child, we're committed that they will grow academically at least one year every year. So if a student comes to us behind grade level, we're gonna try to close that gap and have more than a year's growth. But if they come to us reading or doing math at a higher level than their grade level, we're also going to work to ensure that they have a year's growth as well. So you probably know that KTEC is known for our STEM program. You also may know that STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. But I want to talk about what does that really mean at KTEC. At KTEC, it's really about the integration of those content areas all together and with other subject matter and really teaching our students how to problem solve and other 21st century skills like creativity and collaboration. So let me give you an example. Our schools are in a 1916 building as well as a 1920 building. And one day, a student's pant leg got caught on a wooden doorknob on a cabinet in a classroom and it broke. So the student wanted to fix it. Their buddy said, well, let's just 3D design one. So taking their knowledge of Autodesk Inventor, their knowledge of precision measurement and the handy dandy snap-on caliper, they decided to design a new doorknob and 3D print it. So all they needed from their teacher was permission to stay in during lunch. They had the problem-solving abilities within themselves. They had the content knowledge of three-dimensional software and they put those things together and created a nice glow-in-the-dark 3D printed doorknob. We know that innovation occurs when learning is connected to real-world applications. And to make that possible for students, we need our terrific business and education partners to help us do that. So just to highlight a few of our really terrific partners, we have a great friendship and partnership with Snap-on Industrial where we're writing a tool curriculum together where kids learn about tool safety, identifying the proper tool for a job, as well as applying that knowledge and, and using that tool safely. Um, and that's been a great partnership of making things really real for our kids. Another great partnership, Leeward Business Advisors, is a technology solution company in town, and they really work with our students around computer science and information technology. Thank you for your attention, and I hope you've learned more about the Kenosha School of Technology Enhanced Curriculum, or KTEC. And now I want to answer your questions. My question is, how does the lottery work? The lottery and admissions to KTEC is random. So every application goes in, then we look at the number of spots we have. So currently at the same time that you're enrolling in the Kenosha School of Technology Enhanced Curriculum, our current students are filling out an intent to return form of if they're coming back or not. And then we know how many spots we will have available. And then we'll lottery those spots in a random lottery at the beginning of February. Is busing available? 
Kenosha School of Technology Enhanced Curriculum doesn't provide busing. Uh, it's all parent transportation, walking. There are city bus routes that run near both of our campuses though. What is STEM? STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. But at KTech, it's really about the integration of those ideas and concepts in our full curriculum. So our students are given science and engineering problems to solve that require them to apply math skills and technology skills in every grade level from four-year-old kindergarten through eighth grade. So you might have your four-year-old talking about the parts of an eye and figuring out that the white part of the eye is called the sclera. I had to learn that from some four-year-olds or um, programming a robot from the time they're four um, to the time they're in eighth grade and everything in between. So that STEM is really that application of science, technology, engineering, and math at every grade level. What curriculum does KTech follow? So curriculum wise, we, we've talked some about our STEM curriculum tonight, but we also have a very rigorous English language arts curriculum using Fonte Spinell Classroom at our 4K through fifth grade levels and Study Sync at our sixth through eighth grade level. Our math is a very applied program. So in elementary schools, we do use Bridges. And then in middle school, we use our Connected Math program where students aren't answering, like you might have answered when I went to school, 50 page problems on a page, but are looking at real world applications of their math skills. We also teach social studies as well. So all of our students meet all of the standards from the state of Wisconsin. How do you support small learning groups? So small group instruction is really important in all of our grades and all of our coursework. So if you could take a live tour at, at KTech, like hopefully you will be able to do sometime in the future, you would see that during reading time, students are working in a small group with a teacher or with each other, um, that in a social studies classroom, projects maybe, um, in place where students are working in small groups, science, lab partners. We have a lot of small group instruction to ensure that all of our students' needs are met. What do subjects other than science look like at KTech? So subjects other than science, while that's what we're probably most famous for, are still very important. So we have a great English language arts program where we ensure that all of our kids learn to read at a high level, a focus on writing, um, and building up those essay skills before they leave us in eighth grade. So that is a process that starts in four-year-old kindergarten and goes all the way through. And then of course, social studies as well is integrated. Um, and then a math program that's really around those real world problems. Is there before and after school care available? We have a contract for our before and after school program. Currently, that is offered by the YMCA. So a parent that needs before or after school care signs up through that organization. Are there extracurricular activities? There are a lot of extracurricular activities at the Kenosha School of Technology Enhanced Curriculum. So we certainly offer band and orchestra, choir. Our students often participate in an all city choir in elementary. Um, in sixth through eighth grade, they may be in a musical theater program. Of course, those look a little different this year under COVID, but certainly are opportunities that we always want to offer to our students. In other ways, they can join a forensics if speech and debate are something they're very interested in. They can join a forensics club. Um, we have a first Lego league. We have an underwater robot competition. We have lots and lots of offerings and if we don't have it and students are interested, they often talk our staff members into starting that kind of club. When will I be notified if my student is accepted? So you'll be notified of acceptance into KTech um, by an email in, the, in February. Typically it takes us to about the middle of February to make sure we have our lottery um, done and accurate and then you'll get that application. If you are on a waiting list, you will continue to get notified until school has started and all positions are filled. 
What does it look like when you have multiple kids that are enrolled with KTEC? So multiple children, if siblings are one of the areas that can receive a preference in a lottery. So current KTEC students, siblings can receive a preference. And then if you have multiple children, you're entering into the lottery. We try to um, keep families together and make sure that siblings get accepted as well. It's not a 100% guarantee because sometimes there are not spots still available in the grade level that the sibling is in, but certainly gives them a preference on that waiting list. Do we have to re-enroll each year? No, once you're accepted at the Kenosha School of Technology Enhanced Curriculum, you do not have to reapply or go into the lottery ever again. Um, so that's a really exciting thing. So if you get in in four-year-old kindergarten or you get in in eighth grade, um, you know, you're a K-Tech student all the way through. How is K-Tech different from the rest of KUSD? So one of the things about a charter school is that we have autonomy over our own curriculum. So where you will see the differences between other KUSD schools really falls in that curriculum and you know the business partners and education partners that give those real world applications to our students really make that difference. How will online learning and school curriculum be during and after the pandemic? So this year, like every school, we've had to pivot and change how we do things and really work on our virtual learning as an option um, for students. It has changed our STEM curriculum. For example, Lego education is a real difficulty and isn't taking place during COVID. We hope to put that back in place um, when it's safe to do that and, and COVID passes, but certainly we honor a parent's choice of virtual or in-person learning. How do Encore classes for elementary and middle school work? So we have an Encore program that really meets students' needs. We ensure that all of our students, kindergarten through eighth grade, have physical education, art, and music every week, and then Spanish in our sixth through eighth grade. What musical options are available for students and what grades do they begin? So for musical options, um, band and orchestra began in fifth grade, as in a typical KUSD school. Um, choir is also available and a music appreciation class for our sixth through eighth graders. Are school lunch choices different than the rest of the district? The KTEC lunch program is provided by Kenosha Unified School District and provides very similar options. Does it cost money to attend KTEC? KTEC is a free public school, so the only fees that would be charged is that student fee that's by Kenosha Unified School District that's charged at every elementary and middle and high school. What is the difference between the East and the West campus? The difference between our East and West Campus is their location and address. Um, other than that 4K is only offered at our West Campus, kindergarten through eighth grade is offered at both campuses. Our teachers do a great job of collaborating to ensure that curriculum, assessments, and all of the pieces of learning look the same at both our East and West Campuses. What time does school start in the morning? Our East Campus starts at 8 a.m. and our West Campus starts at 8.20. How do I enroll? If you are interested in enrolling your child at KTEC, you need to fill out an online application during the month of January. It will open January 4th when school returns and close January 31st at midnight. You can find that application on the KTEC website. So if this sounds like what you want for your child, please make sure you fill it out during that time so that you can be a part of the lottery. And I hope to see you as part of the KTEC family next year.